learn that can you say where this acetic acid is present vinegar sir in vinegar correct acetic acid is present in a vinegar and uh, what about the citric acid where the citric lemon. acid lemon citrus lemon. fruit sir lemon. oranges citrus fruit means uh, oranges and lemon okay this is the citric acid present so lactic acid where it is present lactic acid curd curd lactic curd, acid sir. present in a curd curd or we can say sour milk sour milk sour milk correct both are same only lactic acid present in the curd or sour milk and uh, next one what is the tartaric acid tartaric acid tartaric acid tamarind 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 and unripe grapes unripe grapes correct okay next one tartaric acid after the oxalic acid Sir, tomatoes. Apples. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay, tomatoes. Next, formic acid. Where is formic acid present? And, and stings. And stings, sir. And uh, sting. And nettle plants. Nettle, sir. Nettle. nettle leaf when the nettle leaf sting then also in that uh, there is a formic acid is present when the ant sting no ant when the ant sting on your skin then you feel pain and irritation why you feel pain and irritation because of they will inject uh, which acid formic acid they will inject the formic acid like nettle leaf when you will touch the nettle leaf you will feel that is little pain and irritation because of they also inject the formic acid they inject the formic acid acid which is present so here some of the properties we will learn in that some of the properties of water acid and bases so let us see that uh, what are the properties of acid and bases okay here the strong acid i just give you the strong acid name which are the strong acid here hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid nitric acid sulfuric sulfuric acid hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid nitric acid these are the three strong acid we have which are the weak acid acetic acid formic acid citric acid citric acid correct formic acid correct nitrous acid nitrous there is only three name is enough so what is the strong base which is the strong base sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide correct sodium hydroxide next one calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide third one magnesium hydroxide potassium potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide magnesium is uh, not a 
uh, strong base magnesium hydroxide not strong base is a uh, moderate you can say the moderate base not uh, weak not a uh, strong so magnesium hydroxide we cannot write here Achha, now next a uh, weak base weak weak base in that that will come ammonia ammonia nh3 ammonia is a weak base and uh, strontium hydroxide strontium hydroxide is a weak base strontium hydroxide is a weak base so here we are given some of the acid which is very strong and weak and some of the bases very strong and weak strong base sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide potassium hydroxide weak base ammonia and uh, strontium hydroxide so some of the properties now we'll write some properties properties of acid and base so in that uh, first property is in the case of acid okay first property in the case of acid is water the first property in the case of acid so you know that what is the taste of acid sour sour in taste sour in taste yes so acid have a sour in taste what about this base bitter in taste bitter, bitter in taste yes base s have bitter taste bitter in taste second one what about uh, i mean uh, we can say acid you know the acid are very dangerous to touch isn't it acid are dangerous to touch what about the bases soapy to touch soapy to touch so soapy to touch yes bases feel soapy to touch soapy soapy to touch whenever you will take whenever this base you will take in the drop of uh, in your fingers tips of your finger then you will feel soapy okay so that is the uh, we can say it is a feel soapy to touch but bases acids are what they are dangerous to touch but bases are very soapy to touch acha now what is the effect of acid on the blue litmus paper side changes to red changes to red acid turn blue litmus to litmus to red you know that acid is danger acid is danger so what is the color of acid danger color color of danger is what red red, red. that is why acid changes to red always remember that is easy way to remember no need to confuse here okay so here acid is danger acid is danger so it changes the blue to red acid is danger danger means red color so always remember acid changes to blue litmus to red and what about this one this one is the fourth one that is a uh, sorry third one bases red, 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 red. correct bases okay here we have the bases bases turn red litmus red litmus to blue bases turn red litmus to blue okay what about now here fourth point conductivity whether acid conduct electricity yes sir yes, yes sir. sir but what is the condition they should in have hydrogen solution. Ion. in solution acid conduct only electricity please remember that acid conduct electricity only in the presence of what water solution. yeah that is the condition acid conduct electricity only in the presence of water only in the presence of water 
please remember this point as the bases also will conduct the electricity bases also conduct electricity but bases conduct electricity what is the condition when the when the bases conduct electricity only in the presence of water in the presence of water it means water base plus water means they will conduct electricity electricity and base plus water what is this base plus water called you know the base plus water is called alkali dilute base what is called a dilute dilute base the dilute, dilute base. base conduct the electricity dilute base nothing but dilute sodium hydroxide if you word will be used here dilute sodium hydroxide it nothing but water in this uh, water is present dilute sodium hydroxide is nothing but what in this sodium hydroxide the water is present suppose i given here now here concentrated concentrated sodium hydroxide so whether this concentrated sodium hydroxide conduct electricity no sir no sir no sir it will not conduct electricity why because water there is no water no dissolved in water there is no the presence of water there is no water present in the sodium hydroxide there is no water present there is no water present in the sodium hydroxide that is why it is called a concentrated sulfuric as concentrated sodium hydroxide so that is what if the bases are acid they need to water if the water is present for example here if i write here acid plus water then only they will conduct electricity electricity, electricity. so as in example if i write here dilute dilute acid dilute acid nothing but they will conduct the electricity because the water is present dilute acid nothing but dilute if i write here hydrochloric acid dilute hydrochloric acid so dilute hydrochloric acid conduct electricity so if i write here concentrated concentrated hydrochloric acid so whether concentrated hydrochloric acid is conduct electricity or not no sir no sir no, no, no why because the water is not present in the concentrated hydrochloric acid 0% water means not at all water present dilute the meaning of dilute means water water is present water is present dil the short form dilute short form they will write dil and concentrated short form they will write concentrated what they write concentrated c o n c o n c c o n c short form they will write so you have to understand concentrated acid plus water conduct electricity acid plus water nothing but what dilute acid as in dilute hydrochloric acid conduct electricity concentrated hydrochloric acid will not conduct electricity because the water is not present in the concentrated hydrochloric acid so acid they will conduct electricity only in the presence of water and the bases also conduct electricity only in the presence of water so what about now here the fifth point the fifth point is what when the acid react with metal acid react with metal what they will form you know acid react with metal acid react with metal they will form hmm, hydrogen gas which gas hydrogen gas hydrogen gas hydrogen gas hydrogen gas acid react with metal to form hydrogen gas okay please remember acid react with what metal any metal they will form there is one more product also you will get that product is called a salt, salt as well as they will produce the hydrogen gas 
So what is the main? The main important part is the hydrogen gas in this. When the acid react with metal, all the acid, any acid react with metal, they will form the hydrogen gas. But in the case of bases, is not like that. Bases react with only some metals. Okay, the bases react with only some metals. Or we can say that some bases react with the some metals to form the hydrogen gas. Okay, that is what bases react with the some metals. Bases react with the some metals to form hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas. Some bases. In that some bases means the only the sodium hydroxide react with the zinc metal, and it will form the salt plus hydrogen gas. This is the only one base and metal. Two one. This is one base and one metal. So some bases only the some bases react with what some metals like is zinc. Zinc will come under the some metals. Not all the bases react with the metals to form the hydrogen gas. The reaction will be takes place. See all the bases reaction will be takes place, but uh, the condition is what uh, hydrogen gas will not produce. But this hydrogen gas will be produced only with the uh, some metals hydrogen gas will be produced only with uh, some metals some metal. which, what is the some metal in that which is the some metal zinc 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 and which is the some base sodium hydroxide sodium sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide you know sodium hydroxide is what strong base Strong base. strong base strong base sodium hydroxide is a strong base so bases react with only the some metals like zinc and they will form the hydrogen gas hydrogen gas what about the next point now here sixth point about the next property of uh, the acid sixth point in the acid Sixth point is what about that uh, acid react with base? What will happen when the acid react with base? Acid react with base. salt and water is formed. Salt plus water is formed. Okay. Yes, exactly. Acid when the acid react with base to form salt and waters to form salt and water. And this reaction uh, having some name also. What is this? Neutralization, Neutralization reaction. reaction. Neutralization reaction. Neutralization reaction. Exactly correct. The acid, when they react with the base, okay, they'll form salt and water, and the such reactions are called a neutralization reaction. Neutralization reaction. So acid, acid means example now here HCl. React with base, strong base. I will take here NaOH. So you will get here what NaCl, that is salt, you will get plus water, you will get NaCl plus water H2O. Sixth in this base, same six point is same for the bases, also same when the base react with acid, when the base react with acid, when the base react with acid, they also form what same. Salt and water because both are same only salt and water. Here is the base plus acid. What they will give salt and water. Salt and water. So base, which is the base here, NaOH. Acid is HCl. Salt is NaCl plus water. Same example. This both are same. Whether acid react with base or base react with acid. The meaning is same. Formation of product is same. Salt and water. Whether acid react with base or base react with acid, they'll always form the salt and water only. All right. So, if I'll give you one two test tube, okay. In this two test tube, there is a acid in one test tube acid solution in one test tube base solution okay and you want to check in which test tube there is a acid and in which test tube there is a base so to check whether this acid or base what we will do that 
for that test paper. Litmus paper. Litmus paper. Litmus paper. Litmus paper you will take. But this litmus paper is called what? Indicator. Natural indicator. Indicator. Natural indicator. Yes, we require the indicators. Okay, we require the indicators for testing the acid. Okay, indicators are required. Indicators are required for what purpose? Indicators for testing. For what testing? Acid and bases. Whether yes. the substance, whether the solution is acid or base. So we require the indicators. So what do you mean by indicators? How they will indicate whether the substance is acid and bases? So how they will indicate whether the substance is acid or base? Correct. 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 Very good. And indicators actually are the substance which changes the color. Indicators are the substances that changes the color. Okay. That changes the color. When they'll change the color, when they'll put it into, when it is put it into an acid or base. Yes. Or base. So indicators are what? Indicators are actually the substance, our chemical substance, we can say, or just a substance, we can say. And indicators are substance that changes the color. They will change the color. Okay, they will change the color. Example, now if I take a litmus paper, blue litmus paper, I have taken blue litmus paper. So if blue litmus paper, if I will add in this solution, if this blue litmus paper, if I add in this solution, and if that changes color to the red, then it is called what? It is acid. It is acid. acid. It is acid. acid. See the blue litmus, it changes the color. So it changes the color. So this blue litmus paper is called what? Indicator. 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 Indicators. So indicators are actually the chemical substance. Indicators are the chemical substances which changes the color. That changes the color when it is put it into, when it is put it into acid or base. Or we can say when they contact with acid or base. When they will contact with acid or base, they will change the colors. Okay. So there are two types of uh, acid base indicators. There are two types. There are two types of uh, acid base indicators. Acid base indicators. There are two types of acid base indicators. So which are the two types of acid base indicators here? Synthetic indicators. Natural and synthetic. Natural indicators. Natural indicators means uh, the indicators will get from the nature. And one more is called synthetic. Synthetic, synthetic indicators means man made indicators. Men made indicators are called uh, synthetic indicators. So here I'll just give you the some of the name of the natural indicators. Natural indicators. So what are the natural indicators? So the natural indicators means first will come. It must paper. It must paper. It must paper. It must paper. It must paper whether it is a blue or red. red. Next one is come. Turmeric. 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 Third one will come. Red, red cabbage. cabbage. Red cabbage. What about the synthetic indicator? Methyl orange. Methyl orange. Methyl orange. Methyl orange. Methyl orange. Phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein. This spelling, please, sir. Every student have difficulty for writing this spelling. Phenolphthalein. This is the spelling of phenolphthalein. These are the some of the indicators we have to remember. What color they will change when they will come and contact with acid or base? What is the changes the color when they will contact with acid or base? 
turmeric color is yellow turmeric color is yellow fine so when this turmeric when you add into the acid solution you know what is the color the color will be remains yellow there will be no changes in the turmeric yellow color the yellow turmeric will be remains yellow in the acid okay please remember that the yellow turmeric the yellow turmeric there is no changes in the color of yellow turmeric the yellow turmeric remains yellow remains yellow in which solution in an acid 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 and what about the color will change into the base red color red color, color. Red color. A, a base turn yellow turmeric a base turn yellow turmeric to red okay yellow turmeric to red red it will changes to red red yellow will change to the red when you will add into the base when the turmeric if the turmeric contact with the base then it will changes to red color but when they'll contact when the turmeric is contact when the turmeric is put into the uh, acid then there will be no changes in the color the color will be remain same that is a yellow only that is the yellow it will be remains yellow in acid remains yellow in acid and it changes the yellow to red in the base right. so in the red cabbage also same thing will happen in the red cabbage also same thing is happen in the red cabbage what is the color of red cabbage obviously it is red color red name itself giving you idea that red cabbage is which color the red color okay so what about in acid acid there will be no changes in the color the red cabbage will be remains red okay the red cabbage the red cabbage remains red the red cabbage remains red in acidic in acid what about this uh, base now in the base the base will be changes the color okay in the base they will change the color so red cabbage turns green color remember that a red cabbage changes what it changes to the green colors okay red cabbage turns uh, green okay the red cabbage turns green the red cabbage turns green in which solution in basic solution in the base or in base the red cabbage remains red in acid and red cabbage turns green in base that is important green color so please remember red cabbage is in green color in the base when they will contact with the base it changes the color the red cabbage changes the color to the green green color it will change the question is suppose now here you have magnesium hydroxide mgoh magnesium hydroxide when contact with base okay i'm sorry sorry when the magnesium hydroxide is contact with the red cabbage when magnesium hydroxide is added to red cabbage what is the changes of color why you have said the green color anybody can say why you all don't have said green color sir because it is because, because magnesium hydroxide is base hydroxide is base Correct. base base when base is added to the red cabbage just now i given the red cabbage red cabbage turns green when you are adding in a base correct so you must know that this magnesium hydroxide is called a base if you know that magnesium hydroxide is called a base then only you can able to give the correct answer so red cabbage turns green in the base so you know that magnesium hydroxide is a base so it changes to the green colors very simple answers suppose now next question hydrochloric acid okay this hcl when you are adding in the acid tell me the what changes of color for this uh, ray uh, sorry hydrochloric acid is adding in the turmeric 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 
what changes of color for this turmeric? So I think they all given correct answer. Yes. It reminds yellow color. It reminds yellow color. It reminds yellow color. Correct. It reminds yellow. Why it reminds yellow? Because HCL is Sir, acid. Because acid. 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 When the acid is adding in the turmeric, the turmeric color is, you know, that it is a yellow only. So it reminds yellow. There will be no changes in the color of turmeric when the acid is added. When the acid is added. Okay, now there is a, some of the example of the synthetic indicator. Synthetic indicator, I given already example. So what is the first one in that? Uh, that first one is called uh, orange. Tile orange. Tile orange. So the mic is on. Who's this mic on? So now, now methyl orange. Okay, methyl orange. So methyl orange. What is the changes of color of methyl orange in acid and base? In acid and base. Methyl orange. The color, the name itself giving you that it is an orange color. See that. A methyl orange. The name itself giving you idea that it is an orange color. So in uh, acid, it changes to red colors. In acid, changes to red color. Red color. Red. Red color. And in base, yellow color. Changes to yellow color. Yellow color. Okay, it changes to yellow color. This is the answer for this methyl orange. Methyl orange will change to the red colors. Red colors in acid. It changes to red color in acid and it changes to yellow color in the base. Methyl orange. And one of the very famous and very important uh, synthetic indicators is phenolphthalein 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 that is one of the very important uh, uh, what you can call as a synthetic indicators one of the very famous synthetic indicator is phenolphthalein phenolphthalein is a colorless in acid in acid it is It is colorless. It is colorless. In acid, phenolphthalein will be colorless. What about the base? In base. Pink, pink sir. Pink. 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 Changes to pink. This is the very important. Every girl should remember this. Because the pink color, no. That is why. All the boys also should remember. It doesn't mean that you should not remember. Okay, but pink colors so some don't like pink color very very much pink phenolphthalein is a, one of the very famous synthetic indicators in acid it is a colorless and in base it changes to what pink colors in pink colors it is in the pink color i'm talking about here all factory indicators so what is that all factory indicators all factor indicators so those substance okay those substance whose odor will change those substance whose smell or we can call as a odor will be changes it will be changes in a acidic or basic solution are called all factory indicators. All factory indicators. All factory indicators. Okay, here's some of the examples of the all factory indicators. There's the first one is the onion. Onion is the all factory Hello. indicators example. Well, onion. Gloves. Yes. Vanilla. 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 
vanilla, vanilla essence. Correct, vanilla. So these are which indicators? Olfactory. 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 Olfactory indicator. Why they are called olfactory indicators? Because they will change the smell. You know that onion having very good smell, clove also having good smell, vanilla also having good smell. So this smell will change whenever if you put acid or base on that. So example now, if I'm taking the onion, you know, onion having very good smell, but when I add a base on the onion, then onion smell will be, I mean, onion will lose the smell. Onion will lose the smell. Means onion, we cannot able to feel any smell. When you add a base into it. Similarly, clove. When the clove, when the base is added to the clove, the clove also lose the smell. Lose the smell. The clove also will lose the smell. Similarly, vanilla. When vanilla, when the base is added to vanilla, then vanilla essence also will lose the smell. When the base is added to vanilla essence, then also it lose the smell. So what I can say that whenever base is added to the onion, clove and vanilla, all these three indicators will, what they will do? They will lose the smell. They will lose the smell. Okay. That is why they are called uh, all factory indicators. All factory indicators. All factory indicators. So what I can write here, here I can write base destroy the smell. Destroy the smell of onion, clove, and vanilla. But in case of acid. Okay, acid does not destroy the smell. So acid does not destroy the smell of this onion, clove and vanilla. When acid is added to the onion, so onion will not lose the smell. When acid is added to the clove, the clove will not lose the smell. When acid is added to the vanilla, then vanilla also will not lose the smell. So what I can write here, what I can write here, acid does not destroy, does not destroy the smell of onion, clove and vanilla. 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 So these are the example of water, all factory indicators, which lose the smell. So in which, uh, uh, what you can call as a, when this onion and clove vanilla will lose the smell? If a base is added to Correct. it. When a base is, added. Base is added to it. When, base is added. when the base is added to it. Okay. But when they will not destroy the smell? When, when acid, 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 is acid is added. When the acid is added to it. Have you written that? Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now I'll ask one question. Uh, that is uh, onion. If you have taken onion. In this onion, I'm adding uh, magnesium hydroxide, MgOH twice. So what will happen to the smell of the onion? It will remain the same it. smell or it will change the smell? It will lose the smell. 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 Okay, why it lose the smell? Sir, because magnesium hydroxide is the base. Yes, because the magnesium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide is a base. Correct. Because the magnesium hydroxide is a base. Suppose now if I uh, add uh, this one, what is called as a KOH. Potassium hydroxide. Whether clove will lose the smell or will not lose the smell? Lose the smell. Lose the smell. Okay, why it lose the smell? Sir, potassium hydroxide is also base. 
because potassium hydroxide is a base okay suppose now if i am taking the i am adding the uh, this one what is called a hydrochloric acid in the vanilla but the vanilla will lose the smell it remains the same it remains the same it will not lose the smell you should answer you should answer right what it should not it will not lose the smell vanilla will not lose the smell that you should write okay the vanilla will not lose the smell when acid is added to vanilla what about the onion where the onion will lose the smell when i am adding here hno3 so onion will not, not lose its smell no, no, not lose change okay there is no changes the smell there will be the onion will not lose the smell when the acid is added to it okay fine so these are the indicators with the two types of indicators we have learned one type is called what uh, indicator one type of indicator will changes the color okay when they'll contact with the uh, acid or base and another one more type of indicators we have learned they'll be changing the water smell or we can say the order okay and such types of indicators i have given the name that is called what all factory indicators all factory indicators so these are the indicators which will indicate as a, whether the solution is acid or a base okay whether the acid or a base so now we are going to learn about the some of the chemical properties chemical properties of acid and base so the first chemical property is what already is we are going to learn now what will happen when the acid and base react with what they react react with what matters what will happen when the acid and base react with the metal so you know the first uh, fifth point when uh, acid react with metals when acid uh, react with metals you know that when the acid react with metals what will happen when the acid react with metal salt and hydrogen gas will be formed when acid react with metals okay when the acid react with metals then a salt and hydrogen gas are formed salt and hydrogen gas are formed nothing but what acid plus metal give this to salt plus hydrogen hydrogen gas. hydrogen gas okay so in that uh, one very easiest example i will write here about that uh, that is what uh, acid uh, we can go for metal metal i'll take here zinc zinc is the metal and acid acid i'll take here sulfuric acid okay zinc plus sulfuric acid. this is called a zinc and this is called a sulfuric acid okay zinc plus sulfuric acid and this is i write here aqueous okay because there is a dilute sulfuric acid there is a dilute sulfuric acid and the metal zinc is the metal so it is a solid zinc is the metal so it is a solid and sulfuric acid is a dilute sulfuric acid so here water is added so that is why it is called aqueous aq so when the zinc when the zinc is react with sulfuric acid what will happen now the zinc is react with what sulfate zinc sulfate will be formed here zinc sulfate there is also aqueous only so here zinc sulfate plus that is called a salt actually hydrogen gas hydrogen gas hydrogen gas correct hydrogen gas okay so this is the hydrogen gas see this is the reaction when the acid react with the metals you know that is a salt and hydrogen gas but there is one more question also they will ask how you will recognize the hydrogen gas in this reaction how you will recognize so the hydrogen okay. gas in this reaction by popper top sound test how you will recognize the hydrogen gas during this reaction for that uh, this diagram in this uh, we have to take one uh, test tube okay in this test tube uh, 
what we have to take here in this test tube, we have to take the what? We have to take dilute sulfuric acid. What we should take first? Dilute H2SO4. Okay. And, and what we should take? Zinc. Zinc granule you have to take. Zinc granule. Okay. Small pieces of zinc. Okay. Here is the small pieces of zinc. Zinc granule. Okay. And what we should do now here, this uh, test tube, we have to uh, close mouth of the test tube we have to close by using the rubber cork okay by using the rubber cork we have to close okay this is the rubber cork and in this rubber cork we have to fix the delivery tube okay this tube is called a delivery tube this tube is called delivery tube okay and here you have one beaker here is a beaker okay in this beaker what we have in this beaker, you have solution. What solution it is? Soap solution. solution. Soap solution. Soap solution. Okay, this delivery tube. Okay, this is the delivery tube. Here we have to insert. This is the delivery tube. Okay, so now what we have to do in this now. So when the zinc granule, you know, just now we written the reaction. Zinc, when they react with what a sulfuric acid, zinc, Zn plus sulfuric acid. So you know that uh, there is a formation of water, zinc sulfate, zinc sulfate plus a hydrogen sulfate. gas. So hydrogen gas will be start uh, forming here. Okay. So you can, uh, here you can see some bubbles of hydrogen gas. Okay, these are the bubbles of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas bubbles. Okay, so this hydrogen gas will be now water they're passing. This hydrogen gas will be passing water, they're passing through the burned uh, delivery tube. This is called a delivery tube. Okay, so this uh, hydrogen gas now it is delivered, delivering to or you can say it is uh, now uh, uh, released. If, uh, this uh, hydrogen gas is released through the delivery tube and they will be mixed with the soap solution. They'll be mixed with the soap solution. Now here, what is the formation here? This hydrogen gas will be passing through the soap solution. Uh, so what will happen here? Bubbles. What bubbles? Hydrogen gas bubbles. Hydrogen, hydrogen gas. gas. No, dear. It is a soap bubbles only. It is a soap bubbles only. But this soap bubbles are will filled with water. Hydrogen. Hydrogen gas. Yes, that soap bubbles are actually filled with hydrogen. They are bubbles of soap, but this soap bubbles are not empty. This soap bubbles are actually filled with water, hydrogen gas. So now if you want to recognize whether it is a hydrogen gas or not, uh, what we have to do, we have to bring the candle. Burning, burning candle. Burning, burning candle. candle. Yes, we have to bring the burning. Yeah, we have to bring the burning candle near to the this uh, bubbles. So what will happen? Pop Pop sound. It will burn with dazzling flame or pop sound is produced. Yes, yeah, hydrogen gas will be produce a pop of sound. Hydrogen gas will be burned with the pop of sound. Means the sound will be produced. Sound that pop when this pop sound produced. No, we have to understand that it is a hydrogen gas. Okay. So how you will recognize this hydrogen gas means uh, you have to write here. We can recognize by bringing a burning candle. Okay, by bringing a burning candle near a hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas filled soap bubbles. So what will happen when you bring this burning candle near the hydrogen gas? Uh, then the hydrogen gas will be burned with the pop up sound. The pop hydrogen pop. gas burn with the a pop up sound with a pop 
sound with the pop sound okay so the pop sound is produced means uh, we have to understand that what uh, it is a hydrogen gas when the hydrogen gas is formed this is a uh, burn with pop sound uh, okay so this we have to understand that that is the hydrogen gas so some 